The success of the TAC grant has been tremendous in the Inland Empire. There are 11 subrecipients, and then Chafee College plays the fiscal agent and the oversight of the funding that we have here, as well as oversight for the other 11 subrecipients. The success has been in regards to the numbers of folks that we have served in the region through the TACT grant, we've served over 4,000 trainees through the TACT grant. And we've been able to stand up the Intech Regional Learning Center. This is the first grant that has come down as an option that included renovations. So that's how we were able to renovate this building, purchase all of the equipment, and conduct the training. So it was an all-encompassing grant. Making sure that we have the workforce for the 21st century is everybody's problem. There are employers today that have good paying jobs, but those jobs require certain levels of skill. And a lot of the training that goes on here at Intech is exactly what those employers need as the baseline. There is nothing else like this in the Mid Empire that's providing concentrated career technical education to develop craft workers for our industry. 25% of my workforce is involved with the maintenance of equipment. Uh, even though this is a steel manufacturer, this is not your grandfather's steel mill. This is a high-tech operating piece of machinery out here that is run by computers. And every minute that it doesn't work because something breaks is worth thousands of dollars. So if you have trained maintenance people who can get in, repair it safely, repair it quickly, troubleshoot the problem, get it back online, it means the big difference on whether you're profitable or not and whether you can ship the products or not to the customers and keep them happy. So, uh, very, very important for us. So we run classes here at the Intech Center a couple of different ways. Some of the classes are primarily for youth programs. Some of them are primarily to serve the unemployed or underemployed. And then another way we do classes is specifically for employers. For example, we use the Employment Training Panel funding and we upskill workers that employers have already. Now we've, we've kind of raised them up so there's room for some new incoming people that would have come from the TACT grant. The TACT grant has been able to provide for the 4,000 students in the region either a um, industry recognized certification or multiple certifications in advanced manufacturing. Um, or some of the other subrecipients and colleges in the region have actually provided four credit training programs. And in both cases, the individuals have been upskilled, they've received credit, they've received certification, and a good portion of those trainees actually went into employment as a result of the training. Probably the most exciting thing about the TAC grant, the most exciting outcome, especially for the College of the Desert and this region, was the uh, Building and Energy Systems Professional Degree Program. It's not just another degree program. This is a structured degree that has brought 16 different certificates underneath it where students can come in and take whatever courses they want and they might want to say, well, you know, I kind of like HVAC, but I'd rather be on the control side. They can go into automation controls. They can just move right over because they're not stuck in that certificate and they can just switch tracks in the middle of their certificate and not lose time or money or any effort. This is really seminal change in how the community college system is working for students to give them something of value and some flexibility and ability to complete a program. And our hope is, is that we will make it a statewide program, the Building Energy Systems Professional, that structure so that every college that has any energy related programs can fold their courses into the BESP degree and allow that same flexibility for their students. So there's really nothing new they have to do, it's just a restructuring uh, and a new umbrella degree that houses all of the occupations within the energy and construction and utilities industry sector. So the success of the TAC grant is, is tightly related to the long-standing partnerships and relationships that the region has developed with business and industry really over the last 20, 25 years. And it's because of those relationships that we actually were um, the only recipient of the Department of Labor funding in California for round four. California Steel Industry is the primary partner, if you will. Um, it's an actual public-private partnership through Chafee College and California Steel Industries. And we are one of the first 
uh, regional training center of this kind where we actually reside on the California Steel property and we serve business and industry and trainees and individuals across the entire region. The community colleges and others working together is, is critical and has been empowered by the TAC grant. Right now, technology is turning over every 17 months. And so the community colleges need to be made aware by the employer community um, what technology they're using, what technology are they thinking of, of investing in, um, in order for them to make sure that their pipeline, their educational process, is aligned. You know, a whole focus on making sure that the community colleges and the uh, employer community are in lockstep and uh, that uh, curriculum is being prepared uh, much faster than it has been in the past um, just because if, if technology turns over every 17 months, uh, we got to make sure that everybody's riding that train. It's one thing to have a great technical training facility with labs and all the equipment, but if you don't have the people with the knowledge to teach it, the subject matter experts, really a major concern of ours. And so our executive committee agreed to allow our technical talent, those engineers and leaders, people have been in the field for years, to become instructors, whether it be uh, electrical, mechanical, it could be welding, uh, we, as well as uh, we're launching our machining program. And so those are uh, programs where people see they have a talent and they in turn can uh, develop that skill set into a career that will provide them a life skill. And if they decide to go into management later on, they decide to go back and get a bachelor's degree, they'll have that always to fall back on to provide for themselves, their family, their children. Uh, and, and of course, for employers, it's a talent we need to keep our businesses running. So very, very vital to us. Tech Center has been so successful because we have focused all of our programs centered around industry recognized credentials. The, the credentials that we use are NCCER. We have focused on shorter stackable certifications that allow someone to come in and get a certificate within three months or even shorter and then they're able to continue their education and get larger certificates. When I was taking electrical, um, the math and the, uh, the hands-on, the practical, the, the theory was really awesome because it was taught by uh, a gentleman who's been in the industry, uh, electrician, for uh, 25 plus years and he was just an amazing instructor where he brought he brought the theory, he brought examples, he brought you know his experience and he taught it with so much passion that it really just came through to us. We wanted to learn from him. We have some of the most awesome experiences here where we see people come that you know that came from a place maybe they were laid off or maybe they made some poor choices. For whatever reason they come to us, some of them broken and they leave here with hope new skills, and most often, new jobs. I kind of got in a little bit of trouble when I was younger, so um, it was hard for me to get a job. And um, I started uh, in school in 2009. I fell out and in 2013. The IMM program at Barstow came along, and so I um, enrolled into that program, and I stuck with that for three years. So I got my uh, AS degree in the, the IMM program. After I graduated from the program, um, it just gave me a wide range of uh, opportunities. I felt so, like on top of the world, I, I was the lowest of the low to being the highest of the high, where people were just calling me to ask me to go work for them. And, it just made me feel on top of the world and made my family proud. Um, I was just so happy. Everybody was happy around me and just made the world a brighter place. <laughs> so the Inland Empire is a region of 4.5 million people. Uh, by population, it would be the 25th largest state in the country. That's a big region. And so when we deal with issues of educational attainment, when we deal with issues around uh, workforce training, uh, to have, uh, have Intech as part of our region's uh, success stories is incredibly important. Our involvement at IEP comes from the fact that um, our membership are the largest employers in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. 
They include Amazon, Loma Linda Health, California Steel Industries, UPS, just to give a few examples. And all of them across the board are really care about this issue of workforce training. And we begin to see the nexus of the manufacturers and those people in the, working in the supply chain for exactly the type of trained employees that are coming out of Intech. And so if they're coming out of Intech and they're able to find jobs and good paying jobs um, that help them to better their quality of life, um, what a great story to tell. So this program for someone getting out of high school, you're catapulting yourself right into a career if you choose to. Um, and they offer so many other different programs at Maricosa Technical. For me, this kind of put me on, on a path. I had a few part-time jobs, yes, to be able to supplement my income to try to be able to take care of myself and my son. Uh, I work one job now, and I make the income that I was trying to make working the three jobs. So it's a huge advantage. When it comes to the pay scales for our technicians that are coming out of the BESP tax funded program at College of the Desert, they range anywhere from the low uh, 1350 an hour, which would be the entry level uh, solar technician, for example, who's going to start out installing panels on the roof type of person, to the more advanced HVAC technician, which will be be closer to sixty-five to seventy thousand dollars a year after their say second year. First year in for a, an average HVAC technician is probably about forty to fifty thousand. But uh, if they prove their capability to the employer, they very rapidly move up. When I left my last career, I was I was at the top of the pay scale, but at the top of the pay scale was almost the same level that I'm getting right now at the very bottom. <laughs> so so when. So when I look forward in the future, I, you know, and sky's the limit now. I mean, through the training that I got here at the Intech Center, I literally, I, I broadened my, my future. The programs that have seen the most success to the TACT grant have identified a few things um, as to why they have been so successful. One of them is definitely always having that connection to business and industry. And not just providing a training program for the sake of providing a training program, but seeking out exactly what is it that business and, is, and industry is looking for in order to secure a great sustaining wage for an employee and a long-term career with a particular company. So I signed up for the school and I've been here since March last year. So I got to do HVAC for eight hours a day and then I stay four times a week but at night time two days for electric and two days for mechanical. So I was at school for almost 14 hours a day for a full week. Then I find this job that I'm working right now and uh, after work, I still come to the classes that they have to offer and all that. I finished the PLC, the level four, and I already signed up for January for the Megatronics too. When they have to offer more, I'm still gonna keep going because my goal is to go to maintenance supervisor or be on the engineering department of the company one day later on. So job placement has been one of our major success here with the Tech Grant because the funding has allowed us to be able to blend the opportunity of not just training but to do job matching and job placement and even track them. One of the things with the Tech Grant is we have to follow them so it's really great to see how they're progressing and they're getting better jobs and it's wonderful to hear their stories because you know it's not only an impact on their philosophy and ideology of the career path and opportunities, but the impact it's having with their families and our economy, you know, that when they're purchasing things that, such as cars or being able to move out and have their own place, so those are, those you can't replace. You know, a little bit of training and an impact all the way is just a true ripple effect. That's, that's what makes it exciting. That's why I love what I do here at the Intech.